Praise and glory be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I greet you in the name of our Lord. It's such a joy to worship him in spirit and truth. Shall we close our eyes and look to the Lord in prayer before we begin our worship? Loving heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful time that you've given us to come before your throne of grace with praise and thanksgiving, Lord. We are grateful for all that you have done for us. Father, this time as we worship you, help us to worship you from the bottom of our hearts with a grateful heart, with a thankful heart. Lord, we give this entire time to you. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. We have an assurance that we are going to be with God in heaven forever and ever. This is for all those whose sins have been forgiven and washed by the blood of Jesus. Shall we sing this hymn? Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste, glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, vision of rapture, now burst on my side. Angels descending, bring from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior. All the day long Perfect submission All is at rest I am my Savior I'm happy and blessed Watching and waiting Looking above Filled with His goodness Lost in His love this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. It's so wonderful when we read in the Bible that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the one true and supreme God is involved in the salvation of the people who live on earth. What a grateful privilege that we have as children of God. So it says, shine. Lord, we want you to shine. Let your glory be revealed on this earth. The light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me. Shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with 
the Father's glory blaze, Spirit blaze, set our hearts on fire. Flow, river flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be love. Lord, I come to your awesome presence from the shadows to your radiance by the blood i may enter your brightness search me try me consume all my darkness shine on me shine on me shine jesus shine fill this land with the father's glory blaze spirit with blaze Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be love. As we gaze on your kingly brightness, so our faces display your likeness ever changing from glory to glory mirrored here may i life tell your story shine on me shine on me shine jesus shine fill this land with the father's glory blaze spirit blaze set our hearts on fire Flood the nations with grace and mercy Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be love What a wonderful God we serve Jesus, my Savior Lord, there is none like you All of my days I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you shout to the lord all the earth let us sing power and majesty praise to the king mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name I sing for joy at the works of your hands forever I love you forever I stand nothing compares to the promise I have in you nothing compares promise I have in you my Jesus my Savior Lord there is none like you all of my days I want to praise the wonders of your mind Love. 
my comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roll at the sound of Your name. I sing for joy at the works of Your hands. Forever I love You. I have in you nothing compares to the promise I have in you thank you Father thank you Lord Lord in this earth we see a lot of people Lord separated Lord with no love for one another with so much of sadness and grief and bitterness in their hearts. Father, I pray at this time is bind us together, Lord. Bind us together with your love because without you, we cannot love. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us Together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together in love. There is only one God. There is only one King. There is only one why we sing bind us together Lord bind us together with cords that cannot be broken bind us together Lord bind us together Lord bind us together in love fit for the glory of God Purchased by His precious Son Born with the right to be free For Jesus the victory has won Bind us together, Lord Bind us together with cords That cannot be broken Bind us together, Lord Bind us Together, Lord, bind us together in love. We are the family of God. We are the promised divine. We are God's chosen desire. We are the glorious new one. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together in love. One more time. Bind us together. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us. Together, Lord, bind us. Together, Lord, bind us. Together in love. Yes, Father, bind us together in love. As we prepare our hearts to receive your word, we pray that you'll speak to us, to each and every one of us, personally, Lord. 
Let the word of God minister to the hearts of your people. Yes, Lord. We give you all glory, honor, and praise. Thank you for this wonderful time of worship. Praise the Lord. For today's meditation, let's turn to the book of First Chronicles, chapter 4 and verse 9. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother called him Jabez because I bore him in pain. We have been meditating on the 91st chapter of Psalms, and God says he will honor us. And we are going to read about a man who was honored by God, blessed by God. But let's look at his beginning. First Chronicles 4.9, we read like this, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother called his name Jabez because I bore him in pain. Generally, there is much pain when a child is delivered into this world. But mothers forget their pain when they look at the child. But here is a man called Jabez and his mother. When Jabez was born, we don't know what kind of pain the mother went through that she decided to name him as pain. John chapter 16 verse 21, we read like this. When a woman is giving birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into this world. But the mother of Jabez named him as pain. Now, just imagine what amount of trouble this young man would have gone through in his young age. Many people would have mocked at him, made fun of his name. Now maybe there is someone here who is constantly being mocked about his appearance or about his family, about his name, whatever it is, this message is for you. When the brothers of Joseph made fun of him, they said he's a dreamer. And even today people give nicknames to the other people, make fun of them. And Joseph's brothers made much fun of Joseph. But God lifted him up. God blessed him. Sometimes people around us have wrong opinions about us. It's not a right opinion, it's wrong. But because of that, they do so many things. But your people of God, don't bother. The Lord will surely bless you. The Lord will surely lift you up. In Job chapter 16 and verse 20, we read like this. My friends mock me while my eyes overflow with tears to God. But we know that Job was blessed with a double portion of all that he had at the end of all his afflictions. So because of the name, Jabez would have been mocked by his friends. But the Bible says, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. When you read this whole chapter, it's a genealogy. It says about this person, that person. And it's really, really, really just kind of data of names. But when it comes to verse 9, the Spirit of God stops and records something that's very remarkable. He says, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Now, let's look at how this man was honored. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9, it says, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Honor comes from God. From God, the Almighty God, we receive honor. The psalmist, David says in First Chronicles chapter 29 and 12, Both riches and honor come from you. You rule over all. In your hand are power and might. And in your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Now, David was a man who was a shepherd and God lifted him up to be a king. And David knew quite well from his experience that unless God gives you honor, you cannot be honorable. Unless God lifts you up, you cannot be 
blessed. And that's why he says that riches and honor come from God. Now let's see the reason why Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. First Chronicles chapter 4 and verse 10 we read like this. Jabez called upon the God of Israel saying, Oh that you would bless me and enlarge my border and that your hand might be with me and that you would keep me from harm so that it might not bring me pain. And God granted what he asked. Now these are just two details about this man in the entire Bible. But I believe these two verses can transform our lives, can change our lives to be as honorable as Jabez. The first thing that Jabez asked God is, Lord, you bless me. Lord, you bless me. When God blessed Adam, he received the power to rule. When God blessed Abraham, a nation was birthed. When God blessed Isaac, he had a supernatural increase. When God blessed Jacob, he was protected. So it's all in the blessing of God. So Jabez's first requirement is, Lord, you bless me. I want to receive your blessing. So if we will live a life that is pleasing to God and ask the Lord to bless us, He will. And in His blessing, it, everything is included. And the second thing that Jabez asked God was, Lord, enlarge my border. Lord, enlarge my border. You know, when Abraham obeyed the word of God, you now how God blessed him. Genesis chapter 22 and verse 18, we read like this. You have obeyed me, and so you and your descendants will be a blessing to all nations on earth. Look at this man's blessing. Abraham obeyed God in leaving his place of security, leaving his civilized areas, and listening to God's voice and obeying God's word. He just left everything and he started to follow God. And when Abraham did that, when he saw his obedience, God specifically said, because you have obeyed me, so you and your descendants will be a blessing to all the nations on earth. When we obey our Lord and do according to his will, he says he will give us an increase in our borders. A third thing that Jabez prayed to the Lord was that, Lord, let your hand be with me. When the hand of the Lord is with us, it is totally a different story. In the book of Acts, we read in 11th chapter and verse 21 that the church was being persecuted. In that chapter, we read that a lot of people were against the church. But what happened when the hand of the Lord was with them? The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. A great number who believed turned to the Lord. We can see this particular phrase used much about Ezra. Ezra was a scribe. He was in Babylon. And when he found grace in the eyes of the emperor, he found grace in the eyes of the people, in the eyes of the leaders, you know, the word beautifully says, the hand of the Lord was with him. When the hand of the Lord is with us, we can be sure that God is going to do something extraordinary in our lives. Dear people of God, just look at this small prayer that Jabez prayed to the Lord. He was born in pain. He had a very difficult childhood, but this man decided to change everything. He said, I'm going to pray. I'm not going to take things as it is. I'm not going to sit and cry because my mother has given me such a name. I'm going to pray and I'm going to ask God and God is going to bless me. And the fourth thing that Jabez prayed to the Lord was that, Lord, keep me from harm so that it might not bring me pain. There's so much of pain that this man had undergone. It's true. That even today, there is so much of pain that is caused by people who are around us. We have pain sometimes from within the family, sometimes in our workplace, sometimes in our society. 
but whatever it is, if we will turn to God, if we will place everything in the hands of God, and if we will pray like how Jabez prayed, God is able to turn the situation around. Book of Psalm chapter 140, verse 4, the psalmist says, Guard me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who are planned to trip up my feet. Look at this prayer. When God lifted David and when he came and he was in the palace with Saul and when Saul saw that the hand of God was with David, Saul started to persecute him. But praise God, God protected David wonderfully. He says, guard me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who are planned to trip up my feet. And when we read this incident about Jabez, he says, God heard my prayers. God heard my prayers. Let me summarize before we close what we have studied this day. Jabez had a very sad beginning. He had a very tough childhood. But the Bible very clearly records, specifically records, that Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. You know, the reason is his prayer to God. He made a very meaningful but a very simple prayer to God. In First Chronicles chapter 4 and verse 10, we read about the prayer of Jabez. Jabez called upon the God of Israel and he said, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my border and that your hand might be with me and that you would keep me from harm so that it might not bring me pain. And God granted what he asked. Dear people of God, this day as you are hearing this message, whatever be your situation, just be courageous and look up to the Lord and tell him, Lord, whatever you have done for Jabez, do for me. Do for me, Lord. I need this blessing. Lord, please bless me. Lord, you bless me, Lord. The first thing is the blessing of God. And the second thing that Jabez asked was, enlarge my border. It need not be always physical things. It can be an increase of wisdom, an increase in the knowledge of God, an increase in the love of God. So ask the Lord, Lord, enlarge my border, Lord. Let this be our prayer. This day as we receive this message, you look up to the Lord and tell Him, Lord, bless me. Enlarge my borders. And the third thing he said, Lord, your hand might be with me. You know, when we need the hand of God to be with us, there is a great responsibility on our side. We take a lot of uh, warning from the life of Samson, a man on whom the hand of the Lord was very strongly upon him. But Samson was unfaithful. Samson was not faithful to God. And very sadly, the word records that Samson did not know that the Lord had left him. The hand of the Lord was no more upon him. He was not able to even realize the absence of God's presence. And the next thing that Jabez asked God was, keep me from harm. Keep me from harm. You know, it's not wrong to pray a prayer like this. Because the Lord said, in his, when he taught us how to pray, he said, keep us from harm. It is a good prayer to do. Every day before we leave our house, every day before we sleep, every day when we have time, Lord, keep me from harm. Keep me from harm. We live in a very sinful world. We live in a world that is totally out of God's standards. We live in a world that has rejected the standards of God. And there's so many things that can happen. So we can say, Lord, keep me from harm. And at the end he said, so that it might not bring me pain. Lord, so that it will not bring me pain. Keep me from all harm. And the most beautiful thing is that God granted what he asked. And that's the reason why Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Dear people of God, as you listen to this message, be strong in the Lord. Be courageous. Just give thanks to the Lord because 
He is going to do something great in your life. Otherwise, you wouldn't be listening to this message. The Lord says, you will forget all that pain. You will forget all the pain that the enemy, the situations, your family, your friends have caused you. He is going to bless you like how he blessed Jabez and you are going to be more honorable than all of them. When God blessed Joseph, you know, I like the part when the brothers who mocked him came and knelt down before him. And I believe Joseph was more honorable than all his brothers. Dear people of God, I bless you in Jesus' name. And I pray that the Lord who blessed Jabez will bless you, your family, and all that you do, so that you will be more honorable than all your brothers. Shall we pray? A loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for teaching us your word. Lord, you are a God who honors your people, Lord. At this time, we specifically pray for all those who are listening to this message. I pray, Lord, that you will bless them like how you blessed Jabez so that they will be more honorable than all the others who are with them. We give you all glory, honor, and praise. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. <music>